Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got a new release from Rana Broy as part of the beer manufacturer line and this is the 2016 Rana Comet Lager. Now I've covered a lot of Rana beers um, over the past, like, well since I've been doing this channel. So the playlist is down below. Um, it's great to see a traditional brewery like Rana going into the craft and experimental um, like market. They've released some fantastic beers, both traditional and new. And um, yeah, if you ever get the opportunity, you should definitely, definitely sample some of their beers. But today uh, I went to Beretta and uh, met up with um, Martin from the shop there actually. And uh, we had a, he, he'd let me taste a couple of things. Um, I was there because I was doing a little bit, bit of reconnaissance um, about a couple of projects um, with a couple of fellow beer tubers um, that will hopefully come into fruition over the next few weeks. I uh, won't say who, uh, but the guys will probably be watching this video and uh, by the time they've seen this I'll have already been in touch with you know, my intel and of course I will be going back there this weekend. But he kindly gave me a bottle of this and I tried it in the shop itself. And uh, yeah, Comet Lager, beautiful artwork as always on these beer manufacturer bottles and this is clocking in at 5.2% and the hops used, well it uses Heller's malts and caramel malts and the hops are used are um, Perla, Tradition, Comet and Comet. Apologies about my uh, terrible uh, reading skills. But yeah, looks good and uh, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. So. Open. A little bit spat out, not too much in terms of carbonation. It's not really that chilled, to be honest. So using my uh, Lambsbroy glass, and as you can see, that is pouring relatively pale, relatively clear as well. Now let's be a bit more aggressive and give it a little bit of a head. That'll do. Probably a bit too much head there. But yeah, beer in a glass, nice, well actually it's a little bit more hazier um, than I remembered, even though I've already you know, tried it a couple of hours ago. But yeah, nice golden lager, you know, looking there, you know, it looks like the style with a little bit of added haze, not too much though, still got nice clarity to it. Uh, nice amounts of streaming carbonation and the head died down pretty quickly, it's resting now on just under a finger's worth of white fluffy head. So let's see what we get on the aroma. And you are picking up those hops right away. Sort of like a melony sort of aroma. Little bits of citrus, a little bit of a grapefruit sort of tange. Tropical and when you really get down to it, you can pick up those pale malts in the background as well. But on the nose, it is predominantly hop forward. It's not a hop bomb by any stretch, but they are the really nice combination of hops on the aroma. So it looks good, it smells good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. I won't pretend that this is, you know, new to me because, like I said, I tried it when I was at Beretta. And it is nice and tasty. You are picking up that hop character there. But, of course, you are picking up those lager characteristics as well. It's a nice hopped up lager. The only couple of things that I would say about this beer, and we were talking about this in the shop, actually, they could have been a bit more aggressive with the hops. Um, and the body itself is a little bit light. Um, those are the two things that work against the beer. Yeah, just a bit more, a bit more hop character maybe. A bit more body as well. But as is the case with a lot of German brews, high quality. 
Um, it's not a bad beer, you know, don't misconstrue my comments as, you know, completely negative. Uh, it's just, it's just not as, you know, flavourful as the other beers from their range. Now granted you could argue, but they're completely different styles, blah 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 blah. But to me, it just, and I know this isn't the case because some of the beers that I've tried are not reviewed here on the channel. Um, you know, very experimental, very strong flavours. And I know they're not a brewery who holds, they don't hold back, they go for it. But if you were to blind taste this, you'd think, oh, it's like, it's, it's, it's all right. You know, it's a nice uh, attempt at a hoppy lager. It just, whoops, it just feels a little bit too safe for my palate. That being said, for the casual German beer drinker who wants to get into craft beer and doesn't want to be overwhelmed by, like, the body of a stout or the hop character of a really hoppy IPA, and they want to, you know, just slowly make their way into the craft scene, this is a really good starting lager. It's not a bad beer, it's just, it's lacking in certain, in certain respects. But it's still definitely a 7 out of 10 beer. And, you know, I've said it time and time again, it's great to see traditional, well-established breweries here in Germany going into the craft market. And like I've said, I think Rana are an absolutely wonderful brewery. I've tried some fantastic beers, um, both on the channel and outside of YouTube as well. I've had the opportunity to try some really nice experimental ones. Uh, they do a really, really nice barley wine, which I'm hoping will get released soon. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. It's a 7 out of 10. It's, you know, obviously a lot more hoppier. It's got a bit more flavour and a bit more character than your regular lager. Um, but for the craft aficionados, they might be a little bit left down. I'm a little bit more forgiving than that. And like I said, this is a perfect beer for someone who wants to get into craft brewing here in Germany. This is definitely a lot better than the craft stuff that Bex are doing. And I have actually tasted some full-on craft breweries beers that taste, you know, half as good as this one. But yeah, top quality, 7 out of 10. It's just for my palate, it's lacking. And it's a little bit, I don't want to say disappointing, uh, but I was expecting a bit more of a body to it at the end of the day. And you definitely get those hops more in the aroma than you do in the beer itself. But yeah, nice, crisp, uh, just a little bit too light. So if you want to find out more about the Rana Brewery and some of their other beer reviews, I'll put their website, Facebook, all that sort of stuff down below, as well as my Rana playlist. Uh, what are some of your favourite hopped up lagers? Um, you know, just bombard me in comments down below. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Hopefully you'll subscribe for more beer reviews. And speaking of which, I hope you'll join me for the next one. Thank you guys, and I shall hopefully see you later.